Hello, everyone. Hi. All right, I need some more things. Welcome, though. Everybody, welcome. And uh, remember that we may have unwanted guests. And if we do have unwanted guests, I just want y'all to ignore them. And we'll leave them alone, pretend they're not there. And later on, we can know who to block. So I'll be right back. Money's right there, babe. Okay, you're fine. It's focusing this way anyways. Hi, Sailor Aqua. How are you, dear? So, as I said, folks, uh, moderators and um, guests, if any unwanted guests come in, um, we're just going to ignore them. So don't bother removing their comments. Just let them go, and we'll just ignore them and see how things go. That's going to be the way it is. Because, you know, when you give something power, well, you give it power. But we're not giving anything power today other than us. Hi, Twiggy. Hi, Star Delta 9. How are you? Getting ready to mix up some baked goods. Hi, aw. Well, hello, my darlings. Here, let me flip you around so I can say hi to you real quick. Hi, granddaughters. Hello. How are you, my dears? I love you, Miss Micaiah and Miss Rhea and Miss Kira. Love you so much. We're getting ready to make some banana bread. Make banana bread with me. It's gonna be fun. And we're also gonna be using a um, grinder, coffee grinder, to mix up flax seeds. So I'm plugging that in too. Plugging things in. You're fun. And there's our grinder. Love you too. I like that sound. <laughs> How are you, unknown gamer? All right. Hi, Eternal Padawan. Hello, Deborah Gail Hickman. All right. Are you guys ready to make some banana blackberry seed bread? I'm going to flip you back around so you can see what we're doing. All right. All right. So the first thing we want to do is mix all of our wet ingredients. Hi, Kyoko. So, um, I have a base recipe, but I'm always adding things to it. Like, that's what I do. I like to add different stuff. And I'm actually doubling the recipe. So, um, we're going to start with our bananas. We're going to mash those first. So, I've got a bowl for mashing. It's funny how it's on delay over there. Like, you won't see me move that stuff until later. And we're going to be using some blackberries, too. And let's go look and see what kind of good for you stuff bananas and blackberries do. We need two of those uh, glass cake pans because we're making a double recipe today. So um, let's see here. Let's start with our bananas and our blackberries. Let me get my book real quick. All right, okay, I've got all this stuff plugged in over here. I'm going to try to come over here and read to you. Okay, so this is my uh, food remedies book. It's the Doctor's Book of Food Remedies, and it's actually written by Celine Yeager and the editors of Prevention Health Books. So it's a really great book. Hi, Miss Doll. I'm on the other side of the camera, so I may have a hard time seeing you guys, but I want you to welcome each other, and those of you that are just coming in, if we have any unwanted guests, I want you to ignore them, and um, please, moderators, just leave their comments, and then we'll know who to block later. So, that's how it works. So let's look up um, bananas and blackberries and find out what they can do for us. Did you already go, babe? Yeah, I'm my car oh, you're just checking out the delay. Yeah, 
Yeah, it'll be okay. Okay, so bananas. Oh, actually, there's a banana flax, banana flaxseed bread, which we're using flax seeds today, too. So there's actually a recipe for that in this book. You might check that out and see what it looks like. Let's see, bananas, getting the most from hay fever and health benefits of. Let's go with the health benefits of 56 through 58. So... All right, bananas are a bunch of potassium. So they have a healing power here, and the healing power is they can help decrease the risk of stroke, they lower high blood pressure, and they relieve heartburn, prevent ulcers, and speed recovery from diarrhea. Interesting. They're also good for your heart and your stomach and restoring balance. All kinds of great articles in there about bananas. So then, further on, let's have a look at blackberries and see what those are good for. Blackberries. Oh, blackberries are specific for hemorrhoid prevention, actually. They talk about it on page 279. Um, they're also a super fruit and have amazing... Um, Amazing, uh, what is it called? Um, now I'm drawing a blank. I'm so sorry. Uh, flavonoids. So, here, very good for you. Um, cherries, blackberries, and blueberries contain compounds called proanthocyanidins, which help strengthen the walls of the capillaries and veins in the anus. That makes them less likely to stretch under pressure. So... They're good for your, good for your booty, yes. And then, let's have a look at chia seeds and flax seeds. If they're in here, let me double check. Chia. Because we're going to be using chia seeds and, and uh, also flax seeds today. And don't see anything on chia seeds, do I? No, not in this book. Maybe specific to seeds. Um, how about flax? Let's double check for flax. You may have to go to S and find seeds specifically. Oh, no, here, flax seed. For carpal tunnel syndrome, uh, flax banana bread, getting the most from health benefits of 221 through 23. Also bites lupus. 221 through 223. back here, sorry. Here we go. Two twenty-one. Here we go. Flax seed is good for your heart and more. So it can help improve your kidney functions, reduces the risk of heart disease, and prevents cancer. So we love flax seeds. And looking further in the book about this um, recipe for flax banana bread. So, and, ooh, that sounds good. And they actually use buttermilk in that recipe. So I'm going to leave that for a second so that you guys can see that wonderful recipe. So, yeah, and it takes uh, light brown sugar, buttermilk. Um, they use egg substitute, canola oil, unbleached all-purpose flour, um, wheat flour, ground flaxseed, teaspoons of baking powder, a teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of salt, one cup pureed bananas. Interesting. So, but I'm not following that recipe today. I'm more closely following a old Better Homes and Gardens recipe, which is really beat up. This book has been through so much with me. So we're following this base recipe here, which, let's see if the camera's going to focus on it. There you go. Okay, so we're following this. That's the first part of it, and then the rest of it is up here right here. And I don't use this exact recipe. I always add new things to it all the time. So, anyway, while I'm looking at the camera, how are you guys? <laughs> you would not believe it. I'm telling you, Star Delta, we make this stuff and it will get eight so fast. One pan will be gone tonight. So, I'm going to put up my food remedies book real quick since we're done with that for the moment.
I actually have a lot of those books, but that one's one of my favorites. So we're going to start with our bananas, and I'm just going to peel these bananas and start throwing them in this bowl. And this is a lot of bananas that I have here. And they're all very um, ripe. And actually, the riper they are like this, when they start turning brown and whatnot, then um, they're more, uh, they're, they're able to fight more radiation and all of that too actually look it up you guys always research but um like i'm saying uh bananas are good for fighting back for radiation poisoning and whatnot too so check into that and you'll see so i'm just gonna unpeel all these and throw them in this one bowl that we have and this is going to be our wet bowl so we're going to mix all our wet ingredients first and then We'll do the dry ingredients in another bowl and then mix them together in a bigger bowl, which is going to require me running around a lot. So from time to time, you may just see a screen of bananas or um, banana peels or whatever just happens to be laying around. And I'll probably make a pretty big mess. I was going to wear an apron, but all my aprons were dirty. And then I got to thinking about it, and I'm like, you know what? I never wear an apron when I'm cooking anyway, so why start now? Ooh, that one's really squishy. Super squishy banana. That's good stuff. That'll be easy to mix. Okay. Bananas are so good for you. Potassium is amazing. We need lots of potassium. High in potassium levels. This bowl's gonna be full when I'm done. And I'm gonna have to go get a fork because I didn't bring one. I like to use a fork to mash up my bananas. Maybe that's old fashioned, but that's the way I do it. Oh, it's Star Delta leaving. Bye, Star Delta. You have a great day, hon. Or is it Twiggy that's leaving? Whoever's leaving, have a great day. <laughs> Can't always see the chat. And my hands are squishy with bananas now, so I can't touch the chat either. You're awesome, Star. Oh, Star Delta, did I tell you that I've have, I'm have i having my sister reach out to you, too? So I just wanted to let you know if you can still hear me. She will be reaching out to you soon. Do you think I might have too many bananas in this bowl? Nah. Never enough bananas. That's a lot of banana peels, though. These are great for your compost, too. If you have a compost, you should put these in your compost because uh, they're wonderful for gardens and whatnot, too. In fact, I think I'm going to go pitch them in my garden right now. Be right back. Oh, gotta wash my hands and get a fork. All right. And now we mash. Oh, Twiggy, um, Joshua is actually our granddaughter, Micaiah. That's Miss Micaiah. She's just under her dad's account, so... That's what it looks like, Joshua, but it's actually Micaiah. She's a little bitty one. All right, so I'm going to squish these now, and I'm squishing them with a fork. It's a load of bananas, isn't it? Enough to make any monkey happy. Oh, 
squishy, squishy bananas. This is kind of ASMR in itself, isn't it? Reminds me of slime videos. Only it smells much better. <laughs> it smells like yummy. Okay. So I like my bananas a little bit chunky too. I like all my vegetables and fruits and stuff chunky. So I'm going to not mash these all the way. I'm just mashing them enough to... Uh, make a good mess out of it. And I think all of our bananas are pretty squished, but still in some chunks. See how we have those big lumpy chunks? I love that. That'll make the bread nice and moist, and you'll get nice little chunks of bananas in your bread when you eat it. Little squishy banana chunks. Okay. So, what do you think? Squishy enough? Yeah, squishy enough. Manix live stream, yeah. I didn't get a chance to go over there. All right, must have more tea. apologize my honey is always low it makes awful sounds sometimes okay so we have a big bowl of bananas ready all right let's see what else do we need in here that's wet okay we're gonna use four eggs because our recipe actually calls for two eggs but we're gonna use four and I do have the oven preheated to 350 is Terrell here hi Terrell how are you dear it is good it's so good all right, let's see. Yeah, you do have your birthday on here. She's right. Miss Mackay has her, her uh, happy birthday song on there. If you, if you haven't checked it out, you guys should. It's in our original playlist called uh, Celebrations and Holidays. Yeah. So Joshua Rash is actually our granddaughter. Uh, she has some videos on our channel where she's in them, and she's always great. Always great. Okay, let's see. We need a bigger bowl. And I need to rinse this bowl out. I don't have a whole lot of fancy mixing bowls, but that should do it that for the big one and that one for the dry ingredients okay so then we need four eggs in there and let's see we might as well just move that I think I'm just gonna go ahead and move that to the big bowl because it's just so full so we're gonna dump that into our big bowl and then add four eggs which eggs you should save your eggs to, and you can put those also in your compost. And uh, the Simple Joys, who we just love, they're from Australia, they're really, really wonderful, and they used to have, um, well, they still do, but right now I think their internet is down. They have live streams where they do um, uh, trivia on Thursdays, and they're wonderful. Um, so you should check them out if you can. But the Simple Joys um, told us that that's another great thing to do is save your eggs and then you can use them as little seed pots. You put a little bit of dirt in the bottom, and then you can uh, put your little seedling in there, and you can start your seedling that way, and then just transfer the whole thing into the garden. Still provides food for your seedling. So, great tip. Much love to their channel, too. All right, here we go with the mixer. Let's 
bring up the egg. And that's actually choking down our bananas a little bit, but that's okay. We'll we'll be alright. And let me move you up some more so you can see the bowl better. Alright, there we go. Switching up bowls and pots to you. Yeah. What? Did blue water pine, Steve? You have to step away for a minute. Okay. All right. I'm trying to get it to focus on my messy bowl here. Sort of. A little taller, maybe? Can I get a little taller on the camera? I'm working with a really shabby little tiny tripod, so I'm just doing my best here. Okay, so let's see what else we need in there that's gonna be part of our wet ingredients, which is sugar. So the recipe calls for three quarters cup sugar. We're actually gonna double that. But we're gonna go ahead and make a cup of sugar, so it's gonna be two cups recipe. Oh, let's see. Let's see if I can get it to focus All right, so next, sugar. Mm -hmm. My terrible tripod. Okay, so I've got some brown sugar here. I actually think I might have an open bag then. Yeah, I got some. We could use cane sugar too. I just don't like using uh, bleached sugar. Use pounds and ounces. Okay, um, well, let's see. Heck, I don't even know how much that would be based that way. Twiggy, she's in England, so they measure different over there. They measure by pounds and ounces and stuff. She's been having trouble with the troublemakers, too. Yeah, I know. A lot of our community is experiencing this uh, hardship. So when people would do something, they should be having you know, nice and helpful people. Yeah. Manic, how are you? Well, good to have you anyways. Be careful driving. Okay, so there's one cup packed brown sugar. Oh, that goes in. And we're gonna do one more, because we're doing a double recipe. And we're gonna fill both of those cake pans when we're done. So, another one. There we go. And in. Okay, mix that up. the sound of the mixer for ASMR. I think it sounds pretty cool. All right. Oh, and then we also have, and it doesn't call for this in my regular recipe, but we're also gonna be using some almond extract and some vanilla extract. And these are real, this is a real deal. I'm not, don't go for the fake stuff. They, you wanna check your ingredients on the back here and see what is in your um, almond extract and your vanilla extract. See here we have water, alcohol, and almond oil. Let's see, I'm trying to get that to focus on that for you. Sorry, I don't know if you can see my ingredients there. There you go. Well, and then it unfocused. Sorry about that. 
And then here's the vanilla extract, and let's have a look at those ingredients too. And these are coming from, this one is coming from Aldi's. So it is, if it will just focus. Well, it has vanilla bean extractives in water and alcohol. And that is all. If you get the imitation vanilla, and I bet a lot of you have imitation vanilla. Hi, Tiger Lily, loving life. How are you? If um, you do get the imitation vanilla and you have it in your cabinet, I want you all to run to your cabinet and have a look at what ingredients are in your imitation vanilla. And I bet you all of you have imitation vanilla in your cabinet that has propylene glycol in it. And that is a component in radiator fluid. It's also the main ingredient that was killing people's dogs. Is that Liv Rosabelle? Is she here? Hi, Liv. How are you, dear? Good to see you, friend. I haven't seen you for a minute. Liv is young, too. We have a lot of youngins that come into our channel. That's why we try to keep it really nice in here, so we know that we can have the youngins in here, the grandchildren. So there's our beautiful almond extract. We're going to drop that right in. I'm putting just a little less than a teaspoon of almond extract but make it smell real nice and then a teaspoon of vanilla extract okay put that back in the box All right, and then let's run this mixer again. Oh, it smells so good right now. Can you smell it, Father, from over there? Yes, I can. It does smell awesome. Okay. Oops. See it, mixer. All right. Are you leaving, Micaiah? Well, we love you, honey. Have a good day. Yeah, he is. He's excited about it, too. He already ate a uh, cheeseburger macaroni, though. What? Oh, Tiger Lily said, I bet you're excited for baked goods. Oh, yes. Yes, always. Always. Okay, so I'm going to set that aside, and we're going to do some dry ingredients next. So what we need is, let's see how we need to do this. Um, okay, we need one and three quarters cup unsifted flour. So we're actually going to go with two and three quarters. Okay, so we need two and, we need three and a half cups is what we need, right? One and three quarters double, three and a half cups, I believe. All right, so... Here's the first one. One, two, three, and making a mess on my table. All right, and a half. Got that. All right, what else? Then we need one tablespoon of baking powder. So we need two tablespoons of baking powder. And we need a half teaspoon of salt, which means we need a full teaspoon of salt. And, oh, and we're gonna need butter too. Okay, so what did I do with that salt? There's the salt. So I'm just gonna shake in, and I'm using sea salt too. We always use sea salt when we cook. We love this stuff. So I'm just gonna shake in some, a little bit extra. Give it a nice little salty burst. And then, what was the other thing I said? We need baking powder. Baking powder. Okay, be right back.
one tablespoon? Yeah, one tablespoon. Okay. Sorry. That's awesome. I'm glad you are. You like cooking shows? Father loves to watch cooking shows, Miss Doll. I think he really gets cooking ASMR. And yeah, and he gets ideas, but he falls asleep watching it too, which means that it, obviously it relaxes him a lot. Okay, so two tablespoons of baking powder went in. And then, okay, let's see, where were we? All right, we did the salt, we did the flour, we did the baking powder. We did the sugar, we did the two eggs and the bananas, so we do need shortening now. We need a full cup of shortening to go in. So we're gonna put that in this again. I'm using margarine. I wish I had some real butter to use today, but I don't. So use what you got. So we need a cup of butter. Pretty close to a cup anyway. I'm gonna throw that in there. I wish you guys could smell it. I think creating butterflies said that once. We really need smell a vision. If we had smell a vision, it'd be even better, wouldn't it? it smells wonderful. Very divine right now. Alright, so I'm mixing in that butter in our wet ingredients. that now you can see what that looked like a little bit set you back down again sorry my tripod is so flimsy folks this is probably gonna be a very awkward video but hey it'll still be fun oh and another thing I'd love to tell you guys too is I mean you know we all work together as a community here right and we all support each other correct well what I'd like to do is issue you a challenge on all of our fairy foods video but especially on this one today so and I'm sure you guys all have your own recipes for well, have a wonderful day, Twiggy. I'm sure you guys all have your own recipes for um, uh, banana bread. So my challenge would be is for you to make some banana bread and upload a video of your uh, banana bread creation and your banana bread recipe or making a video or live streaming it, whatever you want to do. And then let us know you did it, you know, because you were inspired by our video. Aw, thank you, Tiger Lily. She wants us to send her banana bread. Yes, so we want to challenge you to make your own banana bread, upload a video of it, and then come and let us know the link. In, you can leave the link right here. You're more than welcome to leave the link in the comments, and we'll publish it, and then we'll add it to our description and encourage people to go and see your video too because we get inspiration out of each other, and that's a wonderful thing. It's really good that we can connect on that level. So I'm going to set that aside. We're going to go back to our uh, dry ingredients. And we're going to add some chia seeds to that and some flaxseed. Let's do our seed first. We're not going to add a whole lot of flaxseed. We're just going to add a little bit. And we're going to grind it first. So my grinder doesn't stretch very far, but here is my grinder. So let me add a little bit of flaxseed. And... I wonder how much I want to use. Maybe about a quarter cup of flaxseed. Maybe a third cup. Of, and this is, of course, raw flaxseed. Very good for you. So, let me put that in there. And put the lid on the coffee grinder. And then we'll just push the button. There's some ASMR for you right there. I love the sound of the grinder. <laughs> it's like a little flaxseed snow globe. Oh, 
I love the way it sounds. Okay, so then shake it all down into the bottom there. You got a little bit of flex, ground flex in there. Very lovely. So then we're going to throw that into our dry mix. And it works a lot like the flour, so we don't want to add too much of it, just enough to get some flax seed effect going on. And um, if you guys haven't checked out our other recipe, uh, what was that called? Power bars, power, fairy power bars. That's another good one. We use flaxseed and chia in those. Those are divine. And when we make those, we eat the whole, the whole pan gets gone quick. So yeah, you should try those power bars too. Okay, so we've got that added and I want to add a little bit of chia. And let's see, let me go get a little measuring cup for that. I'm gonna go with a quarter cup of chia seed too, about as much as we used with the flax. So, got us a quarter cup right here. There's our quarter cup of chia. Remember chia, ch 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 chia. Yeah, really good for you. Okay, so we're throwing that in there too. All right, now, mix that together. And if you notice, there's two ingredients that I haven't thrown in here yet that I have sitting nearby. One is chocolate chips, yeah, and the other is the blackberries. So we're going to be using those two, and I have to go wash the blackberries before I put them in here. Ooh, I and that smells really good too, but it's dry. Dry ingredients. All right. So now that we have that ready, we'll go ahead and dump that into this. So, I'm going to just dump like maybe a third of it and I'm going to mix. And then I'll dump the other, another third. probably wondering why in the world am I making this much banana bread and the answer is is because I had a lot of bananas that were ripe and I have a lot of people in the house we have five that live here so we'll go through a whole pan of banana bread pretty quick and of course most of you probably you don't have families this big so let's just divide the recipe in half It looks 
so good. It smells so good. Yummy. Delicious. Okay. So, sit you back down again. All right. Okay, so now we have chocolate chips to add and blackberries, which I'm going to have to go clean. But I'm going to go ahead and add these chocolate chips. And I'm going to do, since we have so much bread going on here, I'm going to do almost a cup of small, um, mini, semi-sweet chocolate chip morsels. I love these things. They're little bitty chocolate chips. And actually, I think I'm going with like maybe two-thirds of a cup. You can add more if you need to, or you can add less if you want to. But those make it really awesome. Okay, so now that we've added chocolate chips and we're going to add um, blackberries soon too, we're going to hand mix everything from now on so that we don't bust up our chocolate chips and we don't also bust up our blackberries when they go in. So let me get rid of some of this junk and unplug this mixer. Okay, be right back. Hand washing, of course, always. And rinse off these blackberries. Right, they look lovely. So here's our beautiful blackberries. They pretty. Oh, you know, sometimes they do, but I usually kind of, you know, mother over them because of the salmonella issue. So yeah, I don't, I don't usually let them mix, uh, lick the mixer sticks. But here, do you want one? You can have one. You can have a virtual stick. I'm pretty sure you won't get salmonella that way. Here you go, Tiger Lily. It's all yours, babe. <laughs> yeah, I have a hard time. All right, we need a good old wooden spoon. Wooden spoon. Mix with a wooden spoon. Here, I'll hold you up so we can see it. Look in there, isn't that pretty? All right, so we're trying not to bust up our berries too much now. Just gonna mix gently. And these berries will be so good. When this gets done, those berries turn into like little jelly berries inside the bread and they keep it very moist. But a warning to you that do make it with blackberries or other fruits for that reason, you're going to have to eat your bread a lot faster or refrigerate it because otherwise you will get moldy banana bread because of the fruit. So, yeah, it'll expire a lot faster on you when you add fruit to it. Oh, it's wonderful it just smells divine you guys okay all right so we got that done all right now let me get rid of some of these things and I need some uh, spray all right I'm gonna use coconut spray which I don't really recommend these but if you're gonna use them at least use some that are good for you. So this is a natural light uh, coconut cooking spray, which is really good with uh, for baking. What? If I was going to say something about it? What was the emoji? What emoji? The laughing emoji? 
No, the one with the Oh, okay. Tasty. To taste the. Yeah. I know, and it's on such a delay. It's on such a delay half the time I don't see it until after you guys say it. It's like when we were, when we go to the, um, the antique flea market the other day, you know, people are like, oh, look at that. Look at this. And, but I'm already past it because by the time I see what they said, it's already gone. And I've gone three aisles over and I have no idea where they were talking about. But it's always fun. We always have a good time when we go. Okay, so I'm just rinsing, or not rinsing, but dusting out these pounds real quick to make sure there's no little dust or pieces of my hair. That happened to me. How many of you get your hair in your food when you're cooking? And then, and then your guests are like, oh, here's your hair that I found in my banana bread. Lovely. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, yeah, you find one of my hairs, so kiss the cook, <laughs> or the baker. Okay, so, here we go, we've got those sprayed. Ooh, it's a whole nother world when you look through them. Welcome to the Pyrex world. It's the Pyrex dimension. Kind of interesting to see life through Pyrex, isn't it? All right. Okay, so now we're going to add our mix to these pans. Hi, Mama Cats, how are you, dear? banana bread and then like I said I already have the oven on 350 so I'm gonna go take it in there and then I'll come back and chat with you for a minute I'll be right back did it not get oh no I thought I had the oven preheated it's not preheated Whoops. yep that's okay I started it now so now we have to wait for it to go beep, beep, which is fine. In the meantime, I can clean up this mess and say hi to everyone. Let me flip you around right here. Hello. So how's everybody doing today? So far, so good. 22 likes. You guys are awesome. Thank you. 23. Did you like it on your phone, too? Awesome. That's because you're awesome, Father. This is that um, book I was talking about that we used for the base banana bread recipe. It's I thought it was better called gardening, but I guess I'm wrong. It's the Encyclopedia of Creative Cooking, Creative Cooking, and it's very old and very mistreated, <laughs> and has lots of extra random recipes in it too. Yes. Hi. Be right back. Put my books away. Alright, oh, I didn't look at the oven after. Our back burner lets out heat, so we have to be careful not to uh, have it, um, not to have the pan sitting on that back burner, or it'll put heat on it and start cooking it before it's time. So, yeah, that. Alright, let's put the lid back on these better. 
yeah. She is fantastic. This is a giant jar of chia. Her. Listen. <laughs> that again has own has its own ASMR value. Salt too. <laughs> There's a delay here too because we're watching it on the computer while we're streaming. It's even worse when you go to look at the chat playback. It's another delay too. Added delay. Kind of confusing because you'll hear me like answering somebody's question or whatever somebody said and then then afterwards a couple seconds later that pops up whatever they said that I was talking about. I like watching it in fast forward. Have you ever done that? Play it on two times the speed, that's fine. Oh shoot, I forgot to look how long it was. It's like 30 minutes, right? I think it needs to be 30 minutes or 45, something like that. Let me double check. Oh, well, I'm totally wrong. 50 to 60 minutes. So the recipe's saying about 50 to 60 minutes for timing. Oh. All right, and my table's a big mess too. Oh, managed to get a lot of flour and chia seeds everywhere. Ironically, I just washed the table. All right. Okay, Deborah, that's fine. You have a wonderful day, dear. We'll see you next time. So, how are you all today? Oh, did Candy Coss come in? Hey, Candy, how are you, dear? Candy's really cool. She has a cosplay channel, and I was just watching one of her videos today. She's really neat. Birds are being awful quiet. I bet they're hungry. All that making seeds, banana bread seeds, and the birds are probably like, well, when do we get some seeds? You want some seeds, birdies? Here you go, guys. Here you go, pretty birds. Okay, happy birds now. He'll look, they're gonna go right down there and start munching. So yeah. Too bad you can't pause the live stream and then like when the food is done then you can unpause it. That would be kinda cool. I'd like to uh, be able to show you what it looks like when it comes out. But, yep, there's one of them right there, see? Just ignore.
That's awesome, Tiger Lily. Looking forward to that. Be careful. Hey, don't fight. Be nice. It's good, Gamer B. How about you? Pouring rain there, Kratom. We could go outside and look at my sky if you want to. Want to do that? Let's go. Why not? Let me get you off this tripod and take you outside for a minute. Okay. chilly too. Very cold out here. That's uh, where Blue Water Pines is too, I believe. Oh, sorry, there's my hand. Hello. Okay, yeah, I've had enough of that cold. That didn't take me long to get tired of. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to put you back on the tripod. And there we go. Okay. So, did that beep yet? Yeah, it just did. Okay, I'm gonna go look at it real quick. Yeah, it did. Okay, so I'm gonna put these in the oven and it says 50 to 60 minutes. So that's what we're looking at for the time frame. cooks a lot faster than the average oven so I'm going with 50 minutes so I've got it on for 50 minutes and uh, yeah oh you're very welcome yeah um so uh, did you guys get a chance to see our last video I hope so we have like 12 I think 12 likes on it and 21 dislikes so yeah and quite a few comments too. So I'm, I'm leaving a trail of comments. I'm not removing the comments. I'm just following through and then making necessary blockages. So I encourage you guys to do the same. And, uh, and that way we can keep track of what's going on. It's a lot easier that way. Hi my skies 5D, how are you? Good, good to hear, Gamer B. No, we live in Missouri. We're in the land of the middle waters. Now, I lived in Texas at one time, though. Lived in Corpus Christi. Long, long time ago. When I was really, really little. I was only this tall. That's when I lived in Texas. <laughs> nice. Again, like I said, we'll just ignore it and see how it goes. Of course, you guys are always encouraged to... Uh, Go to each other's channels and um, make the necessary follows or not follows. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, Candy. Unfortunately, there's been a lot of, uh, a lot of issues 
lately. So, yeah. Unwanted guests, if you will. Candy's awesome, though. You guys don't got to worry about Candy. She's She's got a great channel. I encourage you to make fairy circles with Candy if you like. If you like cosplay. She loves doing cosplay stuff. She's really awesome. I like your icon now, Candy. That's pretty cool. It looks all 80s rocker. Love it. Yeah, people don't really hate clouds. Just negative people. Nice, Terrell. You got a sunny day going on? The models? The models say I'm in the zone. Any reports? Oh, um, no, just really bad clouds. Overcast. Yes. Right, exactly. Yeah, about 50 minutes before the banana bread is done. Do you guys want to stay until the banana bread is done? Again, same thing, you guys. Just be cool. Be cool. We'll let it ride. Don't. My sky, don't do it. Don't do that. Just let it ride. I want it to ride. We're going to ride out the storm, you guys. Ride in the storm out. You get what I'm saying? Let's just ride out the storm. I'll be right back. no life does it no but I there's mean, a method man. there is a method to my madness you guys know there's a method to my madness it's amazing right that he would spend that much time to do all that right know I, mean? <laughs> I know and what according <laughs> according to another friend um that happened a video happened to come in and a suggestion today um basically admitted what was going on right now admitted to it so thinks we don't know who he is but we do so it's really funny like that but Sorry, guys. On another tangent. Yeah, we're riding the storm. There is a method to my madness, though. There really is. You'll see. Because I'm going to leave the chat playback. It won't get deleted. So you guys can come back and watch it again. And you'll be able to uh, find all kinds of information there. Like how to make banana bread. Wait, I don't know what you're saying, blue water pines. Oh, the Huron. Oh, okay, got you. I saw her on, so I wasn't reading it right. Okay, it's a really silly story, but yeah, I'll tell you. Okay, so we have an aunt who is a, she's a biologist, right? Well, she studied science, so she has a lot of knowledge. And um, she recently was walking with me in the woods. Oh, thank you, Orbs Realm. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Thank you, Orbs Realm. And you have a wonderful day, dear, dear Orbs Realm. It was good to see you here. Right, right. Okay, so back to what I was saying. Um, so we went down to the woods, and I saw the great blue Huron. So now listen to how I said it. I saw the great blue Huron. Father, how do you say Huron? Uh, Huron? There you go. Did you hear what he said? He said Huron. The great blue Huron. How many of you say it like we say it? How many of you are saying it differently? So anyway, hi, Aaron. So when she said this to me, or when I said this to her, oh, look, there, there's the great blue Huron. She said... It's a heron, or a heron. That's what she said. It's a heron. She said, that's a heron. And I said, a what? And she said, a heron. Like, a, a heron? What? A heron? Yes. Is that how you say it? A heron? 
Wait, everybody tell me, how do you say Great Blue Heron right now? Do you say it like I'm saying it, or do you say it like Great and Butterfly just said, Heron? I'm just checking, because this is our own personal Mandela effect, okay? So, growing up, we always heard the words Great Blue Heron, and all Herons, different types of Herons, were called Herons, not Herons. So, yeah. So, anyways, I'm, like, arguing with her about this, and I'm like, I'm pretty sure it's Heron. And she's like, no, it's Heron. Look at, they're all saying Heron. You guys are all affected. Just so you know, you are all have been affected by the Mandela effect. Every last one of you are part of it. They're all saying Heron. What did you say? What happened to my little candy? Right. I say Heron. I've always said Heron. I've been saying it since I was a kid. The great blue Heron. Yes, I know, Blue Water Pines. You'll just ignore it. It'll be okay. Okay, Candy, you have a great evening. Happy work work evening. See you next time. Yep. So, anyways, so we go further on down our walk, and after arguing about the Huron and Heron and whatever, okay, maybe I've been pronouncing it wrong all the way. Yes, look at them all saying Heron. And you know what's funny is if you look it up on uh, YouTube and ask for a pronunciation of Huron, you will get Heron, Heron, Heron. And that's exactly how they say it, Heron. And so apparently I've been saying it all wrong all along. Okay, whatever. But as we went on further, she was talking about how they have, um, they have a lot of different lizards that they take care of down at the nature center. And I said, oh, yeah. And she said, yeah, there's there's a lot of different reptiles there. I said, wait, what? What did you just say? She said, there's a lot of different reptiles there. I said, reptiles? And she said, no, no, reptiles. I said, reptiles. And she said, no, reptiles. And I go, so are you telling me that if you saw a great blue heron eating a lizard, you would say the heron ate the reptile? And she goes, yes, exactly. And I said, well, I think you've been hanging out with these nature people for far too long. So how do you say reptile or reptile, which is how I pronounce it, reptile? The great blue heron ate the reptile. Yes, that is how I pronounce it. I'm not going to stop pronouncing it that way. That's the way I've always pronounced it. Unfortunately, the Mandela effect affected the original pronunciation of the great blue heron. And it's on its way to get rid of all of the, I thought that one was already gone, to get rid of all of the um, unfortunate reptiles are next. You say Huron. Look there, Blue Water Pines knows. Here on. The great blue Huron. Yes, and reptile, not reptile. What is reptile? The heronate the reptile. Weird. It's a weird thing to say. Ugh. There was another story I was going to tell you, but I cannot remember what it was. Uh, Blue Water Pines might know if she remembers. Do you remember what it was I told you to remind me to tell you about? Someday. Huron. Great Blue Huron. Reptile and Hurons, yes. Oh, fun, fun. You guys are doing a great job. I just want you to know. And we'll look back and see. Yep. Yep, everybody's doing a fantastic job. Hi, Rhonda. How are you? Good to see you. Is Two Star here, too?
vehicle in the south. Vehicle. <laughs> Aw, thank you, Tiger Lily. I do what I can. And then I want a nap. <laughs> Happens a lot. Ooh, Spiral shed her skin last night. Again, she did it when I wasn't looking. But she's got a whole new shed, and it's really beautiful. It's all in one piece, and it had her little eyes, glassy eyes and, and everything. It was awesome. And she, I'm sure, looks great, but she's hiding right now because she just shed, so she's probably feeling uh, a little um, icky right now. Like, she don't want people to touch her skin because it feels like a sunburn, I assume, after you shed your skin like that. I would guess. That would be my guess. So yeah, short e long i. Yes, correct. Do you remember the other story that I was going to tell you about? Uh, Blue water. I can't remember what it was. It seemed like I told you there was another story I'd tell you, but it would have to be for another day. Oh, good, Rhonda. Is it nice weather there? Yeah, I saved her shed. Do you want to see it? Hold on. Yeah. Yep, here's our new one. So you can see her eyes in it too right there. Totally perfect. And father is talking about like maybe wrapping it around a bow. Like he's going to put it on a bow that he makes. Archery bow. An archery bow. But yeah, this is pretty good size shedding. I mean, it's just three foot anyways, but yeah. No, there was another story, but now I can't remember what I told you. It was another story besides the Huron. Oh, awesome. That's so awesome, Rhonda. Did you why didn't you just take film of it? I wanna see it. Yeah. This is what she'd look like. Or this is what her shed would look like if it was quilled up like her right now. <laughs> Not that big. She's not that big. She's not that ferocious. Yep. It is pretty cool. I love it. I think it's neat. I wish when we shed our skin it would like peel off better, like not flaky, you know. I guess when you get sunburned it does kind of peel like that a little bit though. But not in a good way. Yeah, I have three of her sheds now. We have three. She's been through three cycles and three sheddings. Bicycle. I want to ride my bicycle. You guys are being so quiet. Nobody's in the mood for singing. Mm -hmm. we yeah, we're just being really <laughs> sweet birds up here. We never fight. We don't argue about seeds at all. Nope, not at all. We actually do. Zen is sitting in the middle. Zen is the blue... And then you have Peg is the green and yellow. She's sitting on the end right there. And then Gwen is the white one that's clicking her beak. She's like, it's nap time right now. Quit bugging me. Hi, Tam. How are you? Mm-hmm. 
we. Tiger Lily said sweet spiral like four times. <laughs> Sing. Do you see what Tiger yeah, Lily is telling you? Really? Timber rattlers are beautiful. Those are very beautiful snakes. Yeah. I love Queen. So how are we doing? Everybody's still um, just ignoring, right? We're not worried about retracting or blocking, correct? I mean, you can block, but don't take the messages down. Nobody take away messages today. We're going to leave them. We're going to leave them and let them lay there. Yeah, it is very pretty. <laughs> Damn, bear. I know I saw that. <laughs> I, 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 I we know that. you meant hello. <laughs> She's probably like, dang it, the stupid keyboard. <laughs> I, was gonna say it I always do that too. My, my thumbs are really big, I guess. And I my it and keyboard is like, your idea. thumbs are fat. <laughs> it calls my thumbs names and acts all insulted to my poor thumbs, which are very big. And yeah. You pan up Picasso on these ones. I bet I could beat you out of thumb more, though. <laughs> See, father was trying to type back to you, and he almost called you Yam Bear. So his thumbs are being insulted by his keyboards, too. Tiger Lily says her chat function is messing up a little. Try exiting and coming back in, Tiger Lily. See if that helps. Oh, and then while you're doing that, tell me how many dislikes we got so far. 23. 23. Yeah. Wow. They're, they're busy. They are busy today. They've made more. They, you know, it's... it's, it's uh, I mean, you know, when you have nothing else to do, you can create channels all day long. It's, it's kind of interesting to spend that much time to do, do something like that. You yeah. Know? Do you do anything else? No. <laughs> Wakes up, creates new channels, starts messing with everyone he knows. Yeah. Fun, fun. Oh, sorry. I'm supposed to be reading this chat. A stuttering keyboard. <laughs> you know, if you stutter in a song, it'll go to the top of the charts every time. Think about it. Like, just think about it. Go back to, like, um, Elton John, Benny and the Jets. Ba -ba -ba Benny and the Jets. Or The Who with My Generation. Generation talking about my generation. People try to put us d d d down. <laughs> right. You can't get copyright infringements for singing that bad. There's lots of them. Even uh, Lady Gaga got on it on in on it with their p p p poker face. Think about it. Top of the charts every time. So all you gotta do is stutter. Yes, there is that many of them, Erin. There very much is. So that's why we leave it. Because if we leave it, it'll still be there. And then we can just go back through it and make the necessary blockages. Like I said. Does it hurt if you just turn the like button off? Oh, no, they just can't see how much damage they're doing. That's the only difference. But to me, it kind of gives a record of how many channels have been created for the assault. You know what I'm saying? So, and that's always fun, because they're just going to get blocked, and they're going to get, um, yeah, they're just going to get blocked anyways. That's the problem. Seems All right, like Miss Doll, you have a wonderful day. Seems like after a while they Come back out, at the many. end. I'm trying to wait it out so that I can show you what the banana bread looks like when it's done. So come back at the end, and then you'll be able to see what the banana bread looks like and how it turned out. You have a wonderful day, Miss Doll. Yeah, you can make it so that nobody can see how many likes or dislikes that you have. But it doesn't stop people from liking or disliking, so. I just leave it like it is. I figure it's a record. I was deleting comments and hiding comments. 
And then I decided that that was silly. Might as well just leave them up so we can keep a record because then you won't be able to find a record of it. Awesome. Thank you, Miss Daw. I appreciate you guys. You're all giving me watch time, and I appreciate that so much. I got 15 of you in here. I got 27 likes, so that says a lot right there. You guys are fantastic. Super awesome. Oh, you know what? We can look at the crystals that I got the other day. Want to look at those? I'll be right back. Bye, doll. All right. So, they had uh, selenite wands the other day. So, I bought them out. They only had four of them there, but I got them all. And they're so beautiful. <coughs> what happened? Hi, Debbie. Cool. Thank you, Malvin. Appreciate that. We reflect that love right back to you, friend. All over it. Yeah, he's always awesome. Yep. Malvin's a good guy. Yep, Father likes your barbecue stuff too, Malvin. In fact, you have inspired Father and he wants to start doing some barbecuing on YouTube too. So, we're probably going to try that soon when the weather is good. <coughs> Maybe, we'll see. <laughs> They're so pretty. This one has a little bit of impurities at the top. If you can see that. pretty so and then if you have them all together they're really awesome I'm actually thinking about cutting some of them down and making uh, wands out of them Ooh. try not to drop them yeah We like your barbecue stuff, Malvin. It's awesome. This is a chalcedony that I picked up the other day when I was there. And it I love it. It looks like a V. I really need it. I want to take the sticker off, but I don't take the sticker off because if I do take the sticker off, I'll probably forget um, what it is and where it's from. And it is from Malawi. Aaron Klein said, cool, barbecue with father. <laughs> oh, this or these, Rhonda? Which one are you talking about? This is selenite. These are selenite wands, which is like the big one that I have that I always put in front of the um, computer when I'm doing uh, fairy tarot readings or just, you know, it's great for grounding, selenite. And... Um, also, it clears other crystals, too. So, there's that, too. Um, and then, also, it's great third eye magic, too. You can see it glowing up. Look at that. So, yeah, I really like this one with the impurities in the top of it. Isn't that cool? Yeah, the sticks are selenite. That's what those are. And they a lot of times you'll see them in tower form. Rhonda, which looks like, uh, oh, here it is. And the, excuse this one, it's very dirty because it's living with the aloe vera plants. But this is what they look like in tower form. Aw, awesome, Raven Wolf. Thank you for that. Oh, She's got a blanket and everything. In there. It's cold out there. Yeah, is. is that Debbie or is that Barb? No, it's Debbie. So, yeah, this one lives oh, with our aloe veras, though, which are crazy happy. So, your plants like crystals, too. And, yeah, this is selenite, and these are selenite. Forms of selenite. Also, um, desert rose. If you get your hands on desert, desert rose is a relative of selenite. And um, gypsum, gypsum, I believe, is, uh, yeah. Oh, you have a selenite egg? That's awesome, Erin. I have an egg, too, but it's a... Uh, I can't remember what it is. It's, it had a name, and the boys, 
Uh, where did that go? Oh, it's right here. I forget what it's called. We got it from a stone. Do you remember what it's called? What kind of egg this is? But it has like its own internal lighting almost. I forget what the name of it is though. Some sort of rock. Interesting egg. It lives with the plants too. So, where did I put it? Oh, right there. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, uh, where were we? Okay, so this is blue chalcedony from Malawi. And I love the way it's shaped like a V. See that? Yep. Super cool. And the top of it is really crystally too. Can you see that? Gorgeous. I love it. It was really neat. I bet this will be a good itchy stone too. <laughs> My sister's daughter was um, having itchy feet the other night. So we told her to use um, the amethyst crystal on her feet. Uh, no, the blue heart is calcite, so a uh, different stone completely. Yep, calcite was the blue heart. This is chalcedony. Yep, I know. I fell in love with it because it had that V. There was a couple other pieces I looked at that day um, that we were there, but this was the one that I liked the best. And then I scored this um, Brazilian citrine. which is absolutely stunning. <laughs> That's what the underneath looks like where the where it would have came out of the um, rock. I love the color of it though, and citrine is just such a wonderful stone. It has, this one has a lot of energy in it, and you can really feel it. It's very cold to the touch, and I haven't even tried to see what it does. But I, I really, I don't like doing this too much if I haven't cleared them yet, and they haven't been out into um, a full moon and a full day of um, sunshine yet. So they need to go out into that. That's why I have them in, in the, the bowl so that they can get ready to go out there. Oh, is Tiger Lily still in here too? I didn't see what happened to Tiger Lily. I have her turtle here too. Her little turtle that I got her. And it's, um, what did we say? It was, I think Pamela said it was Chinese turquoise and then it's, um, body, well, it's, its shell is Chinese turquoise, and then its little head and its tail and its little feet are made out of uh, this um, opalite. Oh, there you are, Tiger Lily. I was just showing off your turtle. So, yeah, um, Pamela was telling us that's Chinese, uh, Chinese turquoise and then opalite for the body of the turtle, which is this. So, oh yeah, gypsum sure is. Hold on, I'll show you. Oh, it's starting to smell like banana bread. Yeah, that's awesome. Just so you know, we're getting really close. How much time is left? Nice air freshener. Uh, 1820. It smells like it might be done sooner than that. Okay. So we're looking up selenite. That's right, selenite. Ooh, they have Cetirian concretion in here too. I need to look that up. Okay, selenite is on 110. Um, and the, oh, the book I'm reading here is Rocks and Minerals uh, by Chris Pellant. And this is a very science book. It's the metaphysics are gone from this book. It's all about the chemistry 
involved in the actual geological formations and whatnot. So, um, page 110. Here we go. Sulfates and chrom, chrom, yeah, sulfates and chromates. So, here's your sulfates and chromates page. And then, as you can see, here we have, um, uh, satin spar, uh, selenite, um, the Desert Rose and Daisy Gypsum all there on that page and then the uh, crystal shape is mono monoclinic and it also I love this book because it also has all the uh, chemistry for it too and then I think down here too what does it say it says SG 2.32 cleavage perfect Fracture splintery. So it kind of tells you what to look for, like when you're testing your um, your minerals. It's a really interesting book. And then what was that other page that I said I was going to look for? I think it was oh the septurian, because I do have that septurian concretion. I have a septurian heart that father got me the other day. That's just gorgeous, and. Uh, they had a lot of information on it at the shop, which is in those videos, but it's more than I can remember. And let's see what this book says about it. 247. Here it is. Septarian concretion. Concretions are often formed of the same material as the host sediment, but are cemented, concreted together by silica, carbonate, minerals, or iron oxide. Septarian concretions have radiating and polygonal internal patterns of veins, usually of calcite. Interesting. The texture is the texture, the structure is one of radiating and concentric cracks in a tough outer shell. When open, this internal vein structure is apparent. Origin, it may form by the segregation of minerals during diagenesis. This is all the processes that turn soft, muddy material into rock and their concretion around a <coughs> nucleus. This may be a grain of sediment or even a fossil. After formations of the concretion, the cracks known as septa may develop during shrinkage. So here's a picture of raw septarian concretion, which is like that heart that I have, which I'll go get and show you. So, and here is the septarian heart that father gave me. So, yeah, that's what you're looking at. Um, of course, this is polished. And that would be the raw form. Hi, Jan. How are you, Jan? So, yeah. And then I'm guessing that this is obviously calcite deposited in here. Which, it is just, this is so rad. Look at the other side, it's even better. Of course, I do have a piece of tape stuck on it still. Why? What happens if I take the tape off? I'm worried if I take the tape off, something bad's going to happen. I'm just going to leave some of it on. So, yeah. That's Septarian concrete. And then... Oh, and then I picked up a piece of kyanite, too. Raven was talking about kyanite the other day on her channel. And for those of you that haven't checked out the Raven Wolf channel, you definitely should. She's um, doing a series called Learning, Learning Crystals with me. <clears throat> I've been learning a lot from her, actually. Um... Our family knows quite a bit about crystals, but um, for me, <coughs> I know more about the science than I do the metaphysics. Um, but I do know one thing. When I pick up a crystal, if it feels um, energetic to me, then I want it. And um, she was talking about kyanite and different uses of kyanite, which I've now forgotten what she said. 
So, Raven, if you are able to type, you'll have to tell us what you remember about Kyanite. But it has a really uh, light feel to it. It doesn't weigh that much. And it came from... Uh, oh, this isn't Kyanite at all. <laughs> this is Mexican calcite. So this, Debbie, is the same thing as the heart. This is just a raw form of it. I did not pick up Kyanite. I picked up Mexican calcite. Whoops, so uh, very sorry. <laughs> really messed up my stones today but anyway so yeah and then I really like that opalite I picked up too which is really awesome yep yep and that sticker off of there too but then I'm afraid I'm gonna forget what it's called I've got it taped on there too really good I don't know why they do that scissors to get it off properly anyway so back into the bowl those go and I'm thinking it's probably time to go poke at that banana bread and see what it looks like yeah I just want to see if it's still squishy it does it smells fabulous I love the way these sound Mm hmm Makes the whole house smell good. Aren't they pretty? I'd be prettier if I don't break them. <coughs> that one's really thin, too. They really do have a musical quality to them when they're all together like that, though. You see the energy off of them? Yeah, I did. Yes, Daisy Chips. DK book. Yeah, uh, Dolores Kindersley Handbooks. But it's actually written by Chris Pellet. Here, I'll let you read it again. Here it is. But like I said, again, it's all science related in here. It's not metaphysical at all. So you won't learn any metaphysics off of this book at all. You'll only learn science. Really? Is it windy? <laughs> Blue Water said, Rhonda, did you tell them to take their boots off before they came in? <laughs> Old dusty boots. All right, well, let's go in there and have a look at what this banana bread looks like, you guys. I'm also kind of wondering what my uh, charge is looking like. Oh, we're 62%. That's not bad. Okay, let's have a look at the stove. All right, so it looks like we got about nine minutes left. And it smells like it's done to me. Oh, I think the nine minutes is a lie. I really do. Let's see about that. Oh, I think it's done. I really do. I'm pretty sure that's done. Usually it's done when it starts to smell done. <laughs> I think they're done. What's your favorite? Yeah, we're yeah. clean. What's doing? Uh, that looks awesome. Fabulous. Okay, do you want to hold this for me for a second? Can you film for me for a second? Because i got to put um, uh, yes, honey on. Ignore the green beans on the back counter. Sorry about that. Or on the back of the stove. And ignore the shaky camera because I'm not good at it. <laughs> Father's holding the camera now. Okay, so what, what's happening now is we're getting some honey on the top of the bread. This will give it a really nice, uh, pretty glaze. 
and just sweeten up the top a little bit. I have enough honey in here. <coughs> Sorry, my honey is so low. Excuse my honey bear. So I'm going to use a little baster and then I'm just going to spread that honey out. See how that looks? It gives it a nice little shine to it and now it smells like baking honey. Oh, it smells so good. I wish you guys could smell it. <laughs> That's when I said butter too. Yeah, you know, I don't put butter on it. We already put butter in it. So I'm glazing the top with honey instead. I always put butter on it later. Yeah, he likes to put butter on the pieces as he's eating them. You better not be sneaking around putting more butter on there. <laughs> okay, so then let's see, how about a knife? Oh, why is that in there all dirty like that? It's gross. I don't know. We've been over this. I don't wash the dishes. Okay. Which one? This one or that one? See that one. Either one. They're hot. Hot dirty bread. Very, very hot. I think I found my niche, man. I'm going to be a cameraman for a cooking show. <laughs> I got it down. Ooh, look at that one. The blackberries falling right out of it. All right, why don't you get a close up of that, babe? For sure. So, there we have it. Tilt back a little bit so you don't get so much uh, shadow. And then, <laughs> yeah, well, I'm not going to put that in the bread. But you see that oh, yeah. blackberry popping out of there and it's all turned into a nice little jelly inside there? Do it in 3D. It's going to be awesome. Mm. All right, let's turn it around and have a bite. <clears throat> Mm. Hi, stranger. How are you, dear? Okay, let me get you turned back around. Father, you gonna try some? Yes, ma'am. All right. Come get a bite. Mmm. You guys, it's fantastic. It was very, very moist. Oh, it looks like. Oh wow, it is. Hey. It's really awesome. Bite? Get in here and bite. Mmm. <laughs> so good. Very, very good. Got a little blackberry in that one. That was good. I bet it was hot though, huh? Right? Mmm. Pretty awesome. I swear to seeing it right before all of a sudden it's precious. Now I'm thinking I've lost stuff. my mind. Very good. Oh my god, it's so good, you guys. Mmm. Hot too. Hot. Yeah, it's on fire. It's very, very hot. I'm like fighting, trying to get a piece out of there. Oh, look at that blackberry just on there. Mmm. So delicious. Let me flip you around so you can see it up close. All right, here we go. Oh, is that what happened? So it was first it gets before. Okay, good. Good to know. The Mandela effect is affecting a lot of people. Let me see if I can get it to focus on it. I may not want to focus on this. Like, I could get it to zoom on stuff when I was on the little mountain, but I can't get it to uh, 
take a proper zoom on this. Maybe now. How about now? No, maybe not. Sorry. Ooh, in zoom, out zoom. Yeah, it's back to its old tricks. Anyway, so there is our lovely banana bread. Actually, our two lovely banana breads. But I guarantee it, we're going to eat this whole pan before the night's over. So, oh yeah, still eating. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Delicious, you guys. All right. This is fantastic. Super good. I'm going to be responsible for eating most of it myself. <laughs> oh, I bet it would. Mm. Oh, yeah. Like the French vanilla? Mm. Yeah, that would be good. It just really came out so good. I'm burning my tongue on blackberries, though, because it's so hot. But, yeah. So, that's that's our story, and we're sticking to it. So, goodbye, She's everybody. <laughs> you all have a wonderful evening, and we thank you so much. Um, we're so glad you're here. And if you like this show, then come back and look for um, fairy food in our original playlists. And you can find more recipes there. So, oh yeah, that sounds good too, Stranger.